Solve for y. In this section, we're assuming that variable expressions do not evaluate to zero in the denominator. So let's begin here by multiplying both sides by y minus 3. Now doing that, we'll be left with x times y minus 3 equals 2y plus 5. Notice that's equivalent to cross multiplying here. Now at this point, let's go ahead and distribute the x. And that'll leave us with xy minus 3x equals 2y plus 5. Now at this point, we want to get all the terms involving y on one side and everything else on the other. To do that, we'll subtract 2y on both sides and at the same time, add 3x to both sides. And so we get xy minus 2y equals 3x plus 5. Now you can see by doing that, y becomes a GCF. So if we factor that out, we'll have y times x minus 2. And so to isolate the y, all that's left to do is to divide both sides by x minus 2. And that'll leave us with y equals 3x plus 5 over x minus 2.